Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are here with another narrated Pokemon battle. So, this is a battle against Poke Hunter L. And if you notice my team, I'm bringing some Pokemon that I've really been wanting to use. I haven't used in a long, long, long time. I don't think I've ever used a Mew, actually. Um, but yeah, Mew is that Pokemon I've been wanting to try out, and I have a Heatran, too. So, what I'm going to do is actually lead off with the Crocodile, because Crocodile can get the Intimidate. And I was actually expecting my opponent to lead with a Tapu Koko. But this does make more sense, because Levani often often sets up sticky webs right away. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks because I think that Levani's going to go ahead and go for Sticky Web as instead the Levani's going to go for a Leaf Blade and that's going to hit Crook pretty hard but Crocodile actually takes that all right because this is a bulky Crocodile. I'm going to swap out now because I don't want to go down. This is actually a Choice Scarfed Crocodile too. Um, Levani does not have the best attacking shot. So what I'm going to do is swap out, and now I have my Heatran in, because Levani, there's not much Levani can even do to Heatran, as it's going to take an Electro Web, and that's going to lower the speed. Unfortunately for me, that was a crit, and I missed the Magma Storm, so this Levani is going to get some more hits on me than what it really should have, because it would have been taken out completely by one Magma Storm, but unfortunately I missed the first one. So we finally hit the Levani, but it's it's already got Sticky Web up. Luckily for me, I do have Defog on my Mew and my Tapu Fini. So my two um, walls both have Defog, so that's going to help out um, in the long run. As my opponent's going to go into Blastoise, so I'm not going to stay in on Blastoise. I'm going to go into Tapu Fini because there's not really much that Blastoise can do to Tapu Fini. So I'm going to go into this thinking maybe it could go for a water move. There's also a good chance it could go for um, Rapid Spin, which is what I'm actually predicting it to go for. Because it's very obvious I'm not going to stay in with Heatran. So I swap out as the Blastoise is going to Mega Evolve and go for an Aura Sphere. So of course Aura Sphere is not going to do that much to Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini has a load of special defense. And it also resists fighting moves. So that works out pretty well. I have my Tapu Fini in here. And I can safely, safely go for a Defog. Of course, Tapu Koko is going to come in. So it's going to reset my Misty Terrain and set up its own Electric Terrain. I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to go for a Defog. Because Mega Blastoise can't do anything to Tapu Fini. And it would be really nice to get rid of Sticky Webs, especially with this, this speedy Tapu Koko on the field. So here, I'm going to go into my Crocodile, expecting an electric move, maybe. Um, because it's very, it's a very big threat that this thing could go for an electric move. In the electric terrain, onto my Tapu Fini. Luckily, it does go for a Thunderbolt. And that means Crocodile can basically just go for a free Earthquake. Of course, my opponent could have switched. But my opponent's going to actually let Tapu Koko go down here. So that's that works out pretty nicely. We get rid of Tapu Koko. That thing is a huge threat to my entire team. But now this thing comes in and Snorlax is also a pretty big threat. Um, of course, I do have my physical wall, Mew. And if there's a Pokemon that can help me prevent a potential sweep from the Snorlax, it is Mew. Because Mew, of course can easily go for a Will-O-Wisp, that'll help me out. Um, unfortunately, a lot of Snorlaxes carry rest, so that could be a problem. So I'm just going to go ahead, go for the Will-O-Wisp. This thing is trying to go for Curse. It's a Curse Snorlax, which is something that was very popular in Generation 2, and it's still a pretty threatening set if it gets set up. Luckily, we have the burn on this thing, so that's going to help out. Plus, the electric terrain is up, so it's not going to be able to go for rest as the electric terrain is up, so that's going to work out pretty nicely. Plus, I've got the Misty Surge, which can also prevent this thing from resting up on me. I'm going to go into my Caesar here, um, because Caesar is a really nice Pokemon. Um, it can take some hits pretty nicely, and I can start setting up some Swords Dances. I'm not too worried about this thing, because it is burnt. Of course, there is a possibility that it could have um it, it could have a fire move maybe um i think it might have access to fire punch i don't remember 
but it goes for high horsepower, which tells me it probably does not have a fire move. I'm going to just go ahead, super power this thing, hit it as hard as I can now that I've got a Swords Dance, and I actually get a crit, so I think that might have helped because this thing had quite a few curse set up. So now we're going to take out the Snorlax. That works out for me. Um, if I didn't take it out there, I would have easily just swapped into Tapu Fini to prevent a rest. So now Blastoise is going to come back out. And of course, this thing could hit Caesar pretty hard. So what I want to do is go into Tapu Fini. As we saw earlier, there is not much this thing can do to Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini walls this thing for days. So I'm going to go ahead get the nice little Misty Surge up. As we're going to take a Water Pulse, it doesn't do that much. Um, Tapu Fini resists it, and Tapu Fini, like I said, has a load of special defense. So now my opponent's going to swap out the Blastoise, keep it in the back, and go into the Decidueye. So Decidueye is a pretty interesting Pokemon, Grass, Ghost type. I'm going to go Nature's Madness because that's really my only option, really, to hit a um, Mega Blastoise. As hard as I can. I'm going to have its HP anyway, and with a Moon Blast, I could probably take it out if I get enough Nature's Madness in. So here, I'm not going to stay in and let my Tapu Fini go down. So I'm going to go into Crocodile, um, just in case this thing does go for a Ghost move. It's actually more likely to go for a Grass move, of course. So, I mean, there's a possibility my opponent predicted a swap, but yeah, the Grass move will take out Crocodile pretty easily, and here I'm going to go into my Sceptile. It's time to Mega Evolve my Mega Pokemon, and Mega Sceptile is one of those Megas that I haven't been using that much, so that's why I've been trying to use it a little bit more as of late. Um, it's a really good Mega, it's really fast, it's really hard, and my opponent's going to go into Persian, which is a Pokemon that you don't really see that often. So I'm going to go Hidden Power because that would hit Decidueye super effective as it's going to do almost half to Persian, but not quite. So I'm going to actually swap into my Caesar, expecting a Fake Out, and Caesar should be able to take it very nicely as this thing's going to go for a Hidden Power Ice. So that tells me this thing is a special attacking Persian. So now Persian's going to go for a Shockwave, and that's not going to quite take out Caesar. I'm just going to go for a Bug Bite, just in case this thing happens to have something like a berry. I could take that berry, eat it, but it doesn't seem to have the berry. So now Decidueye is going to come back in, and this um, Caesar actually has the Iron Plate, so that's why um, I'm just going to go for a Bullet Punch here. It gets a boost from the um, Iron Plate, so that will take out the Decidueye. So that's really nice there. And now Blastoise is going to come in. Of course, I could easily switch out if I felt like I needed to, but I feel like um, it'd probably be uh, better to sack off Caesar. Caesar did pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and let Caesar go down and take a rest as I'm going to now go back into my Sceptile. And Sceptile should be able to finish this off as long as it doesn't miss. And it's going to hit the Leaf Storm. And that's going to demolish Mega Blastoise. Mega Blastoise is not surviving a Leaf Storm for Mega Sceptile. So that's going to demolish it. That's going to give us the victory. And we got to use some Pokemon on our team that I've been wanting to use. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next battle video.